Tight Nation, what's up, you guys? What's up, man? On my way to get a fresh haircut, man. You have to get a. You gotta stay fresh, man. You gotta stay fresh, especially in the YouTube game. You know what I mean? Um, you guys, this is crazy. You know what I mean? This is crazy. I don't know how to take this anymore. You know what I mean? I I don't know how to take not knowing who my quarterback is gonna be. I, I it, it's crazy. Are we gonna trade up? Is Tannehill gonna stay? Is he gonna be released soon? Is he gonna be released uh, later uh, to save more money? The same thing with Bud Dupree. Stay, go. Uh, you know, release now, later. Like, it's crazy. My my thing is, I I don't want to. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to see Tannehill again. I don't want to see that shit anymore. I'm damn this fool, bro. Are you serious? Like, come on, dude. People don't use their blinkers. They don't fucking look. They don't check. Jesus, man, this is crazy. But anyway, man, I um, I just it's uh, I'm 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 over the Tannehill thing, guys. I'm so over it. I don't want to see it no more. I really don't. I'm done. Um, I know most of the people would like to see you know a huge splash like a like a Jimmy G, or not a Jimmy G. Sorry, that's the guy who I don't want to see. Uh, I mean like a big splash like a like a C.J. Stroud or a Bryce Young. Um, you know, moving up and grabbing one of those guys, it'd be, it'd be exciting. It really would. Um, you know, there's so many scenarios with the quarterback, you know, you could, you could let Ryan Tannehill go and then just let Malik Willis be the guy and say, you know what, what ha whatever happens, happens probably won't be anything good, but, uh, you know, the Aaron Rodgers situation, the Derek Carr situation, I mean, hell, am I allowed to say Lamar Jackson, uh, Lamar Jackson and Derek Henry together would be fireworks. That shit would be fireworks. Uh, that would be the most exciting run game in the history of football. Like, you can't tell me otherwise. Like, literally, that would be so exciting. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. He wants damn near a fully guaranteed contract. Uh, but then again, with Rand Carthon, we don't know what we're going to get. We don't know what to expect. I'm excited about uh, I'm excited about what he's done so far. But uh, overall, like I said, we just got to wait and see how the free agency pans out, how the draft pans out, and how we approach that. Uh, so far, all the guys we've released, I'm 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 very happy for. I love the I love all of that. Uh, it all makes sense. It's it's guys on fat ass uh, buffet contracts, and we had to trim the fat and uh, and and, um, and save some money. You know, uh, best abilities availability. Like uh, I've been preaching, and um, right now it's just like I said, when you've got guys who are on these fat ass contracts who aren't who aren't. Uh, and, and and it sucks because it's not even their fault. Like Bud Dupree, when when he when Bud Dupree's in there, he does good. When Taylor Lewan's in there, he does good. It's just like I said, when when you're when you're missing that many games, you're not help, helping your team. You got your quarterbacks getting their ass whipped because Double D Dennis Daly doesn't know what the fuck. He can't even spell block. You could throw a block at him right in the fucking head, and he wouldn't know what hit him. He can't block. It's ridiculous. Uh, and and the offensive line's a mess. Um, we got to fix that for sure. We don't even know if we're gonna uh, bring Nate Davis back. Ben Jones is probably gonna be either cut or 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 uh, retire probably. Um, it's crazy, guys. Like we're gonna be we're gonna sit there and we could have only uh, NPF. He might be our only guy on the offensive line. So again, man, there's so many uh, scenarios, so many situations, so many, so many things that come into play, and it's just weird because we don't know. Us Titans fans, like, you know, we just don't know who our quarterback's gonna be. Um, you know, Ryan Tannehill could still be the guy for another year. Maybe we'll see. Uh, maybe they just try to build the offensive line and uh, give them some more weapons, and say, you know what, you guys run it back again. Um, I just don't want to see that anymore, personally. But if, if if that's their choice, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock with Ryan Tannehill. I'm gonna support whoever rocks this fucking logo on their helmet. It's just the way that I'm built. That's what I believe in. I love this football team, man. It's just it is what it is. Um, I don't want to lose Derrick Henry. A lot of people keep talking about Derrick Henry fucking being traded. Uh, and and you got that rumor. Um, you know, Derrick Henry's working out with uh, Von Miller. Von Miller. Um, you know, recruiting everybody, it seems like, you know, bringing people over and shit, but, um, Von Miller is, uh, you know, he had a great season, actually, uh, over there in Buffalo, still doing his thing off that big-ass contract he, he, you know, he signed or whatever, but, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, I, to be honest, like, if I'm gonna be 100% about it, um, I, I, I would, I would be devastated and, and, and it would suck so bad if we got rid of Derrick Henry, but,
but I know it's a business and Derrick Henry knows it's a business. He's he's even stated multiple times. He's stated multiple times. Uh, even on the, the interview with the Bustin' with the Boys, he's like, look, look, Rand, Rand Carthon, you know, he, he could come in here and have a different, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but uh, he can come in here and have a different view. You know, he could come in here and not want to do this. He could come in here and not want to want to do the Derrick Henry run the ball uh, type, type football. You know what I'm saying? And he's already come in and put his foot down. So, I mean, if, if Derrick Henry was to go anywhere in a perfect spot, to be honest, Buffalo, think about it. I've been telling my boy Rico from Street Scores, y'all need a fucking running back for the last, what, three years since I've known him. Two, three years, at least two years. And uh, and every time they get the Buffalo Bills get to the playoffs, it seems like it's the same thing. Josh Allen it just seems like he has to be the running back. He has to only run the ball. And can you imagine the play action with Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs? Oh, my God. Like, that would be the perfect place for him. Like, honestly, it would be a really good place for him. But, I mean, I just, I'm not ready for a full-on, like, like anything like that. Especially because Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry. He's, he's that guy in Tennessee, you know what I mean? So, there's just a lot that go into it. There's a lot that go into it. Um, I, like, again, I personally hope that Derrick Henry stays. I'm not, I don't want to lose Derrick Henry. I love the way we play uh, football. Um, but, but going back to the quarterback situation... Um, it's just a weird feeling. Um, it's a weird feeling not not knowing who our quarterback is. It could be anybody. And, and I know I mentioned Jimmy G, Jimmy G on accident uh, earlier, but now I'm talking about him on purpose. Jimmy G is uh, Jimmy G's a quarterback. You know that has connections with Rand Carthon. Uh, he's a quarterback that's been to the Super Bowl. He hasn't won. Uh, well, he has. He hasn't won one. Uh, like you know, actually doing the work or whatever. But he. Uh, He's a uh, he's a winner. He's proven that. He's very mobile. He's kind of like a younger version of Tannehill, in my opinion. Kind of similar. Um, Tannehill, obviously, is, in my opinion, the better runner. Even though he's older, he's just more of a better natural runner, being a former wide receiver um, in college. But, uh, again, man, uh, that's something I don't want. I definitely do not want Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback. Hell no. But then again, if, if that was the case, if that's what we do, then I'm going to support, you know, then I would support Jimmy G. But it's um, it's just weird. That's why I made I, I was making this video. It's uh, it's just weird that, um, you know, we don't know who our quarterback is going to be. You know, we, we were so used to the, you know, M you know, Mariota and then and then we got used to the Brian Tannehill. And then you're just like, you know, you go into these seasons not even expecting uh, quarterback change or anything like that. But then, you know, after a couple seasons like what we just had, and it's it's clear as day, we haven't had that quarterback play. I mean, we haven't had blocking either. That's a fact. But we're missing that that that, that quarterback play. That that you know those those special quarterback plays. And, and Tannehill hasn't been doing that. He he hasn't been putting out any any of those spectacular plays. And a lot of people could say, look at his stats. They're not that bad. Stats don't always say everything. Like, come on, bro. Like, just because the guy got the sack, and this has nothing to do with quarterbacks, but just because there's a guy who got the sack doesn't even mean he's the one who really fucking caused the most havoc on the play. Jeffrey Simmons gets double teamed every fucking play, and that leads to other guys getting sacks. Jeffrey Simmons doesn't get credit for the sack, but we all, you, you get what I'm saying, man. I don't need to go talking in circles, but yeah, um, I, I think, uh, I think it would be the most exciting thing to do for the Titans for the for the um, for the upcoming season would be to trade trade up and, and make a splash and go get your quarterback, you know, give the fans something exciting, you know, something to be happy about because Brian Tannehill, we know what we're gonna get, we know what we're gonna get, an older quarterback who is getting less mobile, uh, you know, and um, and and again, we don't even know if we can protect him the way we want to, so. Uh, I think it's I think it's it's ran its course. It's time it's time to end that, and um, I think uh, I think I think I would really love to see. Like first of all, I'm gonna be honest. I would love for the Titans to go get Lamar Jackson and and have him and Derrick Henry run over people for a few years. That'd be fucking funny as hell. I would love that. It'd be so much. It'd be highlights every day, bro. But I know that the Titans. I don't think the Titans are willing to do to you know shell out that type of money. Uh, that would be funny though. But I think um, don't be surprised if the Titans trade up. Because, like, to be honest, all those people who are saying, "Oh, Tia, you gave up on Malik Willis," it's not even that, bro. We can't, we can't, we can't protect him the way we want to yet. And even with protection, he struggled. Even with protection, he struggled. He had happy feet all the time. His accuracy was fucking terrible. Um, 
And again, not all his fault. Lack of weapons, lack of blocking, lack of uh, um, offensive, fi uh, offensive coordinator uh, brilliance. Um, Todd Downing was the worst offensive play caller I've, I've probably ever seen. Um, his, his, his little one receiver out there on the first down, run up the middle with no, with no, uh, with no blocking was hilarious. All year he did that. Um, but yeah, in the chat, man, make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And in that chat, let me know what you guys think. What do you think the Titans should do with that, with their quarterback situation? Um, you've got so many, like there's so many that I didn't even talk about, like Derek Carr, uh, Aaron Rodgers. Like there's, there's so many, you could sit there at 11 and and take a guy like Anthony Richardson if he's still there if he, you know people are, are super high on that kid right now but then then but then let's say you take Anthony Richardson and then you got Malik Willis also two project style quarterbacks that's not a good thing especially for an, a team that needs a full on offensive line uh facelift and a fucking uh, and a lot a lot more like literally there's there's a lot more that they that they need so We'll see what happens, man. I love y'all, man. I am at the haircut place. We're going to get a haircut. And again, man, I love y'all. Tighten up, Code Blue. Cyclops swag. Let's go. Ah.